Hey everybody, how's it going? I've been keeping track of everything. There's a lot of stuff to look over. Uh, I want to say one thing before I begin. I don't believe everything I read on MSN. Um, yeah, that did kind of offend me. But you're my friend and friendship means more to me than a statement. It's just a source. When I show things on there and we discuss it, that doesn't necessarily believe I bought into it 100%. Now that that's out of the way, we're carousing around here on Neymar and they had a nice little cam show. Let's start it off. It gets extremely dark in this one. And you can see all the the lighting in the sky from the objects. They look pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. And I'll stop it when some nice stuff comes up. And we can take a better look at it. See it's getting dark now, there we go. Let's back it up a hair and just step it through. And you start to see the sky and all the things that show in the darkness. Nice to look at. To me it's rather interesting. Others may think nothing of it. But where else are you going to see things from this far of a location off? And there we go. We get pretty dark and you can start to see some nice things showing up in the background passing through coming from the right to the left Imagine if we were down there, we would see what they see. Because I assure you, what's on this cam is not all that they see. And just because they let you look at this cam doesn't mean they're trying to jack you around and fool you into anything. get a vantage point down there that you don't get. Or at least I don't from where I'm at. That's something, isn't it? To be able to see these things this clear. And that vantage point. Once I get through stepping it, I'm going slow so you can get a, a nice shot of things. Then we'll run it through full speed and let you see what it looks like full speed. Okay, we'll go full speed. We'll take which is a, a jiffy.
hope everybody's been doing all right. <clears throat> My brother is slowly trying to recover. He's having a hard time gaining weight back. But he is walking. He's breathing a little better. He does still have to use oxygen sometimes. But compared to what it was a couple of months ago, he's made great strides. And that didn't take too long, did it? So review what you saw. See what you think. Now well, we got a little activity here. If you have or haven't heard, we'll go through it on the 16th. Um, well, a double CME hit the magnetic field. And this picture is a really cool picture to me. I mean, look at those colors. You know, I don't see things like this from where I'm at. We don't get the, uh, the super colorful auroras. And apparently the streak here, the firefly, according to them. But even it looks odd, doesn't it? And uh, what it goes on to say is that they forecast a 55% chance of high latitude geomagnetic storms in the next day. And then you have a little additional information that you can read on. And they're calling the sunspot AR-1504, Beta Gamma Delta. And it has energy, harbors the energy for strong flares. And it's facing directly at us where it was. And these photos were taken from Germany. And each one of these that you're looking at, the cores, is about two times the size of the planet. Now, they estimate 65% chance of M flare and 5% chance of X flares during the next day. And I have heard people speaking about the classification of whether it's like a M 1.7 or a, an M 5 point whatever. Some researchers are saying that the classification, even though it is what it says, or what they term it as, it actually packs more of a punch to it than the number put into it. So we'll have to keep our eyes on the sun. It's been rather fairly quiet for a while. And this is of the list of the known objects, asteroids, of when they say they will arrive and pass the mist distance and how big they are. And what they have listed so far doesn't look for any of these to be any problem. But that's what I said, what they've listed so far. You know, that's, these are not too big and they come closer. But if, you know, even something like that, if it did somehow manage to break through and get in, yeah, it could hit something and, and uh, you know, cause some carnage. But your larger ones, they are saying they're going to be well, well out there they don't have everything listed. And there's your storm update. Uh, 
Okay. And we're going to go and we're going to see how we're doing on the earthquakes. And actually, it's been pretty quiet. <clears throat> they did run a big article recently about um, earthquakes and fracking. And I'm still checking into that because I have my own hunches about that and my own beliefs since I live in a drilling patch. And quite a bit of drilling. And it is picking up here. But the gist of the article was that uh, fracking does not cause earthquakes, which I do not believe. As far as the earthquakes go, you see in the last few days, for a while, nothing very big. You just did have a, you know, not long ago, 16th, just passed, 6-1 in the Philippines, and that's the largest one so far. But you see, a, you know, a 5-7 in Solomon Islands. You see a majority of 4s and, and mid-range 4s. It has calmed quite a bit for now. And there's your Northern Mariana Islands with 5-1. We can go through this list over the last few days and and compared to what we were in last year it's just not anything really there. In the Philippines 5.5 on the 15th. And that's a good thing um, for now because nothing's really Rocking the boat. China, 5-4. Maluka Sea, 5-6. Taiwan, 5-2. South Fiji, 5-4. And then a whole bunch of threes and twos and fives and, and some fours. And you do see a Turkey, Syria, Iraq, border 5-3. Coming all the way down here, we're still seeing controllable and manageable magnitudes. Coverdeck Islands, 5-1. So you're getting the drift of, of things and then you have the uh, Hindu Kush region in Afghanistan. They had two, 5-7 and 5-4. That's been, uh, you know, five, six days ago. And of course you did have Greece with a 5-8. And again, in Northern Mariana Islands, 5-0, and this would be on the 10th. So we're backtracking pretty far. And that's really, um, I don't want to say earthquakes are good because I hate them. I don't believe they're normal. I don't believe God made a planet that was supposed to have earthquakes. But that's just me. Well, let's go over here and let's talk about some things that are going on in the world. I don't get everything from MSN. I choose to go through all sources. So I'm taking you to a different one from the other side of the world. Greece. Bankrupt city. Austerity. Bailout. And as you can see, the voters will face a big choice between rejecting the austerity and risking dropping from the euro. A lot of them want to, want to keep the euro. So, it's kind of a danged if you do, danged if you don't. They want to keep it, but they don't like the things that are going on. But they're going broke and somebody else is going to hold their paper because they're going to give them a bunch of money. This will affect world economy as we know and we haven't even got to Italy, Spain and we probably throw Portugal and stuff in there and uh... We'll just, we have many things that we can talk about if we went through all these different ones and you see Egypt we'll get to them in a minute and you have your Iran tensions and uh, 
it had been thought that Israel had made the Stuxnet virus, so we're in a quandary there, because supposedly the United States said they did. Well, were they covering up for Israel or not? Maybe, maybe not. We got smart guys. We got the capability to do that. So it's not to be on the realm of belief that we didn't do it. So, with a big country like Iran, if they were going to use this for peaceful purposes, nuclear power, why wouldn't we simply help them and then put a bunch of people over there to monitor everything and make sure they weren't jacking around trying to make a bomb? What was that? Something just went bang. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry for the delay there. Uh, you won't believe it, but apparently somebody's car just blew up about three blocks away from me in the back of my house. Something went boom. I don't think you could hear it, but I did. And the whole house shook. So I had to go outside with the flashlight and make sure nobody was breaking in or hit a tree or was hurt or anything. And then I alerted the authorities and they knew about it and 911 and everybody is starting to pile out there and take care of the situation. But we were talking about Iran and their peaceful use. Why would they why wouldn't we just station people over there to monitor if they were going to use it peacefully? You know, why Why would anybody think that they would not make a bomb? Now, I made a statement before and I was corrected on it. I didn't term it correctly. There were different interpretations of what Ahmadinejad had said. And what I said was that he wanted to wipe Israel, or they should be wiped off the, the map. Um, well, I guess you can transcribe, erase from the pages of history. What does that mean? Let's erase Israel from history. Hmm. But anyway... They don't like them. Have you, have you looked into how many times Jerusalem has been conquered throughout the ages by invaders? History does not lie. It is the proof. And we're getting a little refreshment here from Algeria excuse me, <laughs> Al Jazeera and they want to load a little slowly but we can still discuss everything while it loads up Oop, we're still not loaded quite good, there we go and we'll go down to the other topics but I can rest assured and you can too, that the world would change just like that if Iran ever got a nuclear bomb. Can you imagine with all that oil that they have what that would do to the price of oil? They really could block the Strait of Hormuz and skyrocket the prices. They really could rally others to join them against Israel. It's not like they're not already trying to. There's plenty of people that hate Israel or countries. Now, we'll just scroll on down and see what they are saying. Oh, China. China is kind of uh, wanting to take over the space race, as you know. They've got their own setup up there now. 
quite quite an advancement. The U.S. will now hitch rides, supposedly, since we don't have one of our own anymore. Egypt. Ooh. Egypt. Not going too good over there. Mm-mm. Mubarak is out. How long has it been? Think about it. Think about all the partying going on once he went out. Well, they're not partying too good now. Because things didn't get better. Like I've explained before. That's not why it was done. And then, troops sent to quell clashes in western Libya. Hmm, Gaddafi's gone too, isn't it? Gee, things didn't get better in Libya since Gaddafi was gone, did they? Nope, sure didn't. That's not why they were taken out. Oh, I've also... I've been hearing something about Britain. What? Can my friend over there inform me anything? Uh, what is this stuff about? They're wanting to tap into your computers now over there? I mean, they're, they're not even keeping it quiet. I saw reports, and I haven't had time to really look in depth into it, of they're openly saying they want to tap into your computers now. So if you got some input on that for me, <clears throat> send it to me. And then you have some hot stuff over here. The Saudi heir apparent has died. So it will not be him. It will be someone else. And we cannot leave Japan out of the mix here because remember well we weren't paying attention back then maybe some were some won't, weren't the lost decade 10 years of stimulus 10 years and it didn't do any good but it wasn't so long ago I believe they were number one in uh, GDP to debt ratio. I checked on that a, a few months ago and I I seem to think that I remember that they were still number one. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I will check on that directly after I make this video because I've made that statement. Um, they may be progressing and trying to dig out but the point is you can't keep bailing out country after country after country. If that's what it's going to be, it's just a, a way to to bring control upon everything. So you've got so many things going on. It's unreal. Absolutely. And you hear these I don't believe them. These things about the USS Enterprise was attacked and we're at World War III right now. We're not in World War III right now. We may be in the beginnings of World War III. Getting everything set up so that we can have World War III but what's going on over in Syria is like I've said before. They want him gone and he will not go. You know how these things go. They pay to have uprisings. You take some scumbags, you put them wherever you want, they start causing some crap, they make it out that they're doing for the people. The people already want better times anyway. So some of the people jump on the bandwagon of the scumbags and grow the rebellion. So you got some some people that are being used like tools by the scumbags as your rebels. 
I'm not saying Assad should stay in. By far, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you got guys like George Soros that start all the crap. You know, he's just one turd that I can speak of. Because, you know, most people have heard of that scumbag. And he openly admits he funds these things. He gets these things going. He festers them for turning everything upside down, regime changing, and making things turn into what he, him and his group of scumbags want it to turn out like. Well, they are now saying it's possibly a civil war over there. Well, it ain't good. I know that. There's death going on. He's not going anywhere. And you see what the Russians have done. Hmm? Well, if you didn't know, the Russians are arming the Syrians. Okay? You've heard John McCain is talking about the U.S. should be arming the rebels. Okay? Well, that's opposing sides then, isn't it? That would be like fighting a proxy war. And the U.S. side wants Assad gone. And it looks to me like the Russian side says leave him alone. Let him stay in. So that's what's going on, simply put. The family has been, is, is like, you know, kind of like the royal family of in, England. They've been in power for a long time. Passed from father to son. Now Sonny Boy's in charge. Queenie, you know, been running the show over there in England for a long time. I personally, I don't live there, I wasn't born there and raised there. I personally do not respect the royal family. I think they're evil. I think a lot of people think that they don't have any power anymore, that they're just figureheads. I think they got lots of power. But they just don't want, it's not publicly told how much they still have power. So, Syria in their part of the world, in their little, their country, they're kind of like that. That family has got the power over there. And that family ain't giving it up without a fight. And that's what they're doing. I said it all along, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep going. They got a lot better military and they got better weapons than what we've seen with Iran or Gaddafi. It's just not going to be the same there. So it's probably going to get pretty hairy over there. And yeah, You'll probably openly hear later on that the U.S. is arming the rebels. So two and two is four. Whenever you hear that, you're going to know that we're fighting a proxy war. They're rebels we arm. And the Syrian forces that the Russians are helping to arm. The U.N. watchdogs supposedly got shot at. So... They weren't much use anyway. And remember I've already brought you, you know, stuff about his, you know, Damascus is going to fall. And it will. God doesn't lie. And then I know somebody out there is going to make a statement and say, well the Bible was made up, it's been changed, it's been blah blah blah. Where's your faith, brother? Hmm? 
you think God is do you think the guy that made everything would actually allow something like that? I mean, I've already seen a video made by someone I won't name, but they know who they are. They're saying it's been changed, this, that, and the other. Let me tell you something. The man upstairs may let him change a little piece of it, he may let him hide a little piece of it, but the meat and potatoes of the whole thing, he's not going to let him tamper with that. Uh-uh. Not going to happen. you got to stop and think about things. Give the guy some credit, you know. I mean, he does run things. Everything. The story will play out just the way he said. Yeah, I've already brought to you Petrus Romanus and referred you to the information that you can get. We've already discussed the final Pope too. And there will be just one more Pope. You hide and watch and mark my words. If you know anything about Malachi, if you know anything about the prophecy of the Popes, if you can do the research, if you can open your mind for God's sake you can see what's coming down the road it's not all man it is not you know we can argue about people that transcribe ancient writings we can argue about Sitchin all we want to Truly, what is information? And where do you get it? We well, send you little kids, and, and we were little kids once. You send them to school, and they get information, don't they? So everything has a source of information, and somebody can say, "Well, that's crappy information. I got this stuff over here from a different source, and this is the real stuff, and yours is bogus." We can, you can argue about that till the cows come home. Because everybody has different information. So all it is an opinion. Pull the truth out of everything if there is any to it. Shove the rest over there on the side. And hold it off for a while. And then look at it again later on. Some things are a combination of fact. Proven and agreed upon fact by researchers. It's just some researchers take the fact to a different level and put fiction into it. That doesn't mean it's a lie. It means there's part of what they're looking at that's not there. And they take other sources and fill in the gap. That's the part that people disagree upon sometimes is what they've used to fill in the gap that they don't agree with and that is called faction so you're gonna see some stuff you will mark my words you will and these guys will be coming back make no mistake about it if these tools were, are real, and they claim they found them in Sumer, look at how huge they are. Hmm? Look at how huge. Can a normal man swing something like that? No. Have to be somebody real big, wouldn't it? Now this picture here is titled Hoax 2. Whether they're hoaxes or not, in the photos, not all photos are, but photos are possible to be hoaxed. But I'm telling you, these guys did live. And they is coming back. You betcha.
Though as in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. And the table's getting set. It's been a pretty calm six months, actually, overall, in the big picture. We're going to come on to the second half of 2012. And we're going to finish out this month and we're going to see if Israel makes any moves. But as we come upon the second half of 2012, rolling into 2013, we're going to see about this prophecy, the Mayan calendar prophecy of the return of their friends. I'm going to look over a few more things and I'm going to bring you all something different in a couple of days. Now it's going to take a <clears throat> usually whenever whenever I coincide the solar flares CMEs, you know, charged particle stuff with er earthquakes uh, it doesn't seem to, to me, it doesn't seem to just, bam, we had a big CME, so bam, the same day we have an earthquake. Kind of like baking a cake, it takes a little bit of time. And we're going to watch, I am, we're going to watch the next few days pretty close. And we're going to see if any of these regions over in the Ring of Fire over in the New Zealand area stretching up to the Philippines and uh, Japan has any higher activity. We'll keep our fingers crossed. This will be passive and uh, low magnitude like what we've already looked at. But I don't know what else to, to try and to tell people. You know, to make you understand that these these guys were not fake. You know, whether whether these pictures are hoaxes or not, I've seen... These are just the one I'm showing you. I've seen many, 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 many more than these. And there is no way on this green earth that all of those pictures are hoaxes. No siree. And you remember what Enoch said, the body can be killed. David did. The body of these things can be killed. Obviously, you're looking at their skeletons. But in doing so, just similar to humans, but different. They don't go anywhere. We go to heaven or hell. These guys roam the earth as evil spirits when their when their essence their life force their their spirit is not a soul when it comes out of that body it becomes an evil spirit so these things nephilim their bodies have the evil spirit inside of it it's in case you know it's inside of it and when you kill them kill the body, you can't kill them. Only God can kill their spirit. When you kill that body, it releases that spirit. And and therefore, you have them invisibly every you know everywhere so to speak. And they're tempters of evil. Man is tempted already with evil. And when you add these guys to the mix, you know, people are going to do more wrong things than they normally would because there's something extra added to the mix tempting them. And that would be the evil spirits. How many things have you seen about demonic possession in the movies? That's, uh, you can call it a demon or whatever you want. But the gist of it is, something happens, it gets inside of a person, and it possesses them. That's an evil spirit. It's 
what they are. It's what they do. So I'm going to close it out. And I'm going to talk to you all real soon. Um, I apologize if I ruffled anybody's feathers and I seem rather forceful on, on my uh, speaking. But I want to be quite clear. Because I don't just speak crap. I didn't learn these things in two weeks or two months or two years. It takes a long time looking through a lot of stuff for a lot of years and doing a lot of thinking and doing a lot of seeing things and doing a lot of contemplating on the motivations behind why things really happen the way they do and why people that do bad things what do they really do them for So I'm not a rookie, and MSN doesn't run me and pollute my brain. It's just a tool. That's all. I can throw away everything they say, or I can look into some of the articles and check different sources. So with that, happy Father's Day to everyone. All you fathers out there. I hope you have a great day. I hope all the rest of you have a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year. Protect yourself. Get in touch with your Lord. Put on that shield of, of armor, and He will armor you up. He will have your back if you ask Him to. Look what He did for my brother. He gave him more time. He healed him up. Maybe not completely, but he healed him up enough to give him another chance to have more time. He can do that for everyone, but you got to pray and you got to believe. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything. Now think about it. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.